Oh, hey, how you doing? Didn't see you there. I'm gonna be your tour guide today. Today we're gonna be playing some old games on a new TV or something like that. Anyways, last week we played Grand Theft Auto 5 on a TV from the 1950s. The video did amazing. I want to thank y'all for the support. This week we're gonna play Red Dead Redemption 2 on this 1950s TV because that was a very highly requested uh, game to actually play on this TV. I'm joined alongside today my oh my very skittish sidekick Penelope. Hey, say hi, P. She's like, get me out of here now. What are you doing? Hey, are you camera shy? So in last week's video, there were tons of comments saying, dude, this is so freaking fake. You edited that gameplay onto this picture of an old TV. The aspect ratio is off, it's totally fake. So firstly, I wouldn't have gone and bought a really old TV if I could have just edited this gameplay on there. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all that today. Also, check out my really cool dog table. We got the PlayStation sitting on. This week we're using the PlayStation. Last week I played the game on the Xbox. I had tons of people saying, dude, Xbox sucks. Play the PlayStation. So this week we're doing PlayStation. If for some reason this video gets 10,000 likes, which would be really cool, I might try to win a game of Fortnite on this really old TV. And also, I, uh, I'm probably just going to play every single Grand Theft Auto game and Rockstar game on this TV if y'all want that since a lot of y'all wanted this to be a series. Uh, up here, this is an actual toy from the 50s, like a flying saucer toy. Uh, pretty cool, the play button. We're about to hit 600,000 subscribers. Thank y'all for that. And then we got a really old diving helmet. So before we actually dive into things, I'm gonna show y'all. This is legit. These old TVs for, for the younger kids watching, take a minute to turn on. Um, they gotta warm up. We just gonna show y'all, this is real. We ain't playing, we ain't playing. There we go. So let's play some Red Dead Redemption 2. You might see black lines on the screen like this. That's actually not there in person. I'm looking through the camera right now. Look at that. It's not actually there. Let us away. Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, pull <laughs> only back. crashed twice. What's going on, y'all? So uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit in this video. In the last one, got lots of comments saying, dude, why aren't you talking? And I thought maybe people would have a better experience watching somebody play an old or a game on an old TV by, by not talking and listening to the game. Also, the volume knob is broken, so I can't turn that down. So you'll probably hear a mix of like me talking and the game, and I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. But uh, chapter four and chapter six in Red Dead Redemption 2 are probably my favorites. This mission is in chapter six. This is Icarus and Friends. Definitely one of my favorite missions in the game, just going up in the hot air balloon. It's insane. And y'all want to know something insane, kind of insane little fact that gets you thinking? This TV is, I'm guessing, from the late 50s to mid 60s. Well, the time difference between 1899, when Red Dead Redemption 2 takes place, and when this TV came out is, is right around 55 to 65 years. And from when this TV came out until now, 2019, is 55 to 65 years. It's crazy. We went from hot air balloons over a city to TVs, and now from TVs to me talking to y'all through this camera and uploading it for everybody all over the world to see. Technology's pretty crazy. And this is the first time I've played Red Dead Redemption 2 since about January. So it's kind of a bittersweet moment because last time I played this game, my life, it's not like my life is miserable by any means, but uh... A lot's changed in the last eight months for me and my life. Split up from the longtime girlfriend, moved houses. So much, and the last time I played this game, uh, things were different. So, a lot of times playing games will kind of take me back. Because I remember, I'm really good with dates, kind of a savant, I think, when it comes to that, but November 9th is when I actually played this mission. And, uh, it might have been November 5th. Anyway, somewhere at the right beginning of November, right after Red Dead came out, I was playing this mission, and after uploading and doing my videos for the day, me and the girlfriend would put together a big old puzzle. And, uh, anyways, it kind of takes me back. My life <laughs> changed when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. My YouTube channel exploded. 
more than it ever has in my seven years on YouTube. And uh, it's crazy. That's almost been a year. It's already August. Time is flying. Oh, and uh, I think I was going too high. Dwelling on the past, I think I went way too high, maybe? Around this height. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want to have your customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. See which one of these Wind. tiny pecs is John. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. This was not the tour I had in mind. That's not him. Should we, uh, think about heading back? That ain't John. That could be him. Please hurry. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? You're shooting at us! I can see that. of this job are not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy it. For those trying to criticize my aim, really hard right now. Everything is just like a blur.
That guy always reminds me of Colonel Mustard from the game Clue. I'm always sad when that happens. So if that guy's gonna get shot out of a basket, how's this lady gonna climb a rope? Look out! There's a bridge up ahead! And get into this basket without getting shot. This is so bad. Alright, I thought we were gonna fail. See, like, how is she gonna get shot? Okay, here we go. I didn't know the controls. Pull her up! Pull her up! Pull her up! There we go. That booty. All right, y'all, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If y'all want to see me play some Grand Theft Auto on here, win a game of Fortnite, which I haven't ever done, play L.A. Noir, Mafia 2, let me know down below in the comments if y'all could. Give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe because we're about to hit 600,000. So thank y'all so much. And once again, to show y'all this is real, see you next time.